Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Training Series for Beginners. We will be learning Mac OS X. If you're transitioning from a Windows PC to a Mac, this is PC to Mac Basics. Welcome to PC to Mac Basics. This tutorial is intended for people that are making that transition from a Windows machine to a Mac computer. If you're familiar with your Windows machine or computer, you're probably used to using the Windows icon that was located in the lower left of the screen which allows you to navigate to different software applications and subfolders. On a Mac, that Windows concept is broken into two separate areas. The first is the top menu, where your Apple logo and your icon is located. That second area is going to be at the bottom, where your dock is. First of all, all software on Macs are referred to simply as apps. If you have an iPhone or if you have an iPad, you're probably already familiar with that concept. So your dock is similar again to that Windows Start menu. This is completely customizable. All these applications that are attached to the dock are completely interchangeable to your liking. You can simply add an icon to the dock by navigating to your finder, to your applications, and then dragging that icon right down to the dock. And poof, it will appear down there. Now your operating system it's a smart operating system. It knows because you specifically grabbed that application and dragged that application down to the dock that you want to keep that icon on the dock. If you wanted to remove an application, you can simply grab it, drag it away from your dock until you see the little cloud of smoke. That cloud of smoke is indicating again to your operating system that you intend to remove it and that you're not accidentally dragging it away. It will take about a second for that to appear, so if you accidentally were to click on something and just drag it away, it's not going to come off your dock unless you specifically grab it, hold it for a while, and then mean to remove it. You can also add applications to the dock once they're opened by simply right-clicking on them and then selecting Keep on Dock. Or you can grab that icon you can drag it to the left and then you can make room for it. Again, because your operating system knows that you specifically moved that from the right side of the dock to the left side, that you intend to keep that icon on the dock. If you're using OS 10.7 or later, you also have what's called the launch pad, which is a silver looking medallion icon on your dock. If you click on that launch pad icon, you can find all the applications installed on your Mac. This is another easy way to get to applications without having to navigate through a bunch of subfolders. And again, if you wanted to add one of these icons, one of these applications, to your dock, all you have to do is grab that application, drag it down to your dock, and voila, now it's on the dock. If you're coming from Windows, again, you might be familiar with using Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer was used to view, organize, and manage all of your files on the system. On Mac, Mac uses Finder. Finder is always the first icon located on your dock. If you click on Finder, it will allow you to navigate to all the saved information, the files, the folders, and all of it is easily automatically organized for you already. On the left side of the Finder window, you'll find applications, desktop items, Documents, Downloads, Movies, Music, Pictures, or any subfolders that you may have created on the system that you've chosen to share here into the Finder. You can also view any shared machines that are currently connected to the, to the network. We've talked about the different ways you can navigate your Mac system from the dock, going into your Finder, the similarities between the Finder and Windows Explorer, all of these including Launchpad are ways that you can access different applications, you can navigate subfolders, and find the files on your computer. The last way that you can do it, and quite possibly the best and the most innovative way, is Spotlight. Spotlight is a feature that's built into your operating system. Spotlight is basically like a search engine that's built into the operating system that indexes all the files all the software application, all the folders, anything that's listed in your actual operating system.
There's two ways that you can access Spotlight. You can click up magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner, or you can simply hit command spacebar. Now what's so great about Spotlight is its quick ability to allow you to find certain files, folders, or applications that are located on your system. So if we quickly wanted to find something and it's currently not on our dock, all we have to do is start typing and Spotlight will automatically categorize anything that meets the criteria of what we're searching for. So if we were looking for calculator, we can easily and quickly go to that item by simply opening up our spotlight, starting to type calculator, and then voila, we'd be able to find our calculator on the system and quickly open it up. If we were looking for something else, or working on a current project, and you wanted to look for your, your web header, all you would have to do is quickly start typing the name of the file and Spotlight has already indexed it and is immediately going to be able to pull that up for you. Not only is Spotlight like a built-in search engine into your operating system, it's also a thesaurus, a dictionary, and it's a calculator itself. So if we wanted to do some simple math, we can actually add a few things together and Spotlight will quickly calculate it for us. Or we can simply type in what we're looking for and go ahead and go to the web or Wikipedia and again quickly use Spotlight as a mechanism to get the information that we need very, very quickly. It's actually a really cool feature and one of my favorite that Mac has added into the operating system. Lastly, we'll talk about a few fundamental things on your Mac operating system. If you currently have a window open and you wish to make it larger, you can simply go up to the upper left hand corner and click the green plus sign. This will make the window larger for maximum content viewing. If you wish to minimize the window, you can simply click the yellow icon. We'll drop it down to the lower right hand side of the dock and you can see all of your minimized windows right down here on the dock. We can simply click it in order to bring that window back up. If we wish to close the window, we can click the right icon or the X in the upper left hand corner and that will close the window for us. If you're used to coming from a Windows PC, you may be used to the right click. On Macs, they still have this ability if you're using a, a magic mouse or a traditional mouse on an iMac. If you don't have an iMac and if you're using a MacBook Pro or a laptop, you may have to do this a little differently. The first way if you have a mouse is to click the right side of the mouse, which will pop up your traditional right click. Another way we can have the right click is called a control click. By pushing down the control key and clicking the left side of the mouse, you'll see it provides us the same function as performing a right click. Users that are using a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air can simply use two fingers pressing down on the trackpad to get the same similar result of the right click. And a couple of the last things I wanted to mention were some of the shortcut keys. A lot of the shortcut keys that you may be used to from your Windows and a lot of the functions are still available. Rather than using the control button, you would simply use the command C to copy and you would use the command V to paste. We can also view any current and open projects by going to our mission control. The mission control is an icon that's located on your dock that has the multiple desktops. If you're using a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air you would simply use a four finger swiping up or three fingers swiping up and this will allow you to see your multiple desktop, your dashboard, or any open projects that you currently have going on like applications and any of their sub windows. That concludes our PC to Mac basics tutorial video. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave me any comments if you have any custom tutorial videos that you would like me to make.